Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the letter X. X for xylophone, because the X doesn't start with very many things. So, I'll have to find a word that's positive and uplifting for the next if it's possible, but um, band-wise this is 220 bands, um, so not horrible, but it's a lot still, I know. Um, and then, of course, when you're making these, make sure you kind of make it your own. I just kind of do them a little bit plain. So, um, multicolor bands, adding wrapped bands, or whatever you can think of to kind of make it um, a little crazy and a little more your style. Don't forget about trying that out. But we will get started. One loom, wrong end towards me. Everything is double banded. And we're going to start by making our X's. So it's two bands. I'm going to start, we don't really move a whole lot, so the fourth pin up again. Start on the left, bring it up to the right. Then we just, just come up a pin. And two more bands right over the top. And we want cap bands on each pin. It's two bands wrapped around one time. both sides. Then we're just going to go up and do the same exact thing right above it. So starting on the left, go to the right, right to the left on top, cap bands on the top pins, two bands wrapped around one time, like that. Then starting up here, we'll go in through the right cap band, because that's the bands that are on the bottom. Grab those two bottom bands, pull them all the way back across the loom, and then do the same thing on the left side. Like that. And then repeat that down below, starting on the right. And on the left. That. Then what we're going to do is do a row on each X times five, so five rows. And it's two bands, and we're going to go around each little X. Do both sides at once. So like that. Then you flip the bottom four all the way around. that. So that's one row. And we'll mark our rows. So we'll do that same thing again. I found a staple. Not sure where that came from. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Mark your row. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go in and grab bands and pull them up on top of the pen. And do that on both sides. Like that. And 
Another row around both with the two bands. Like that. Flip the bottom four again. All the way around. Mark your row. Another row, all the way around both. that. Flip the bottom four. All the way around. Push your bands down. Mark your row. And then come back and pull up your center if you need to. Just don't pull it off the pin. And one more row all the way around. Both sides. that. Flip your bottom four. So we should have five rows now. both sides. So what we want to do is we want to bring these together so we're going to move these four pins down one. So I'm just going to pick up the bands around this pin, take them off, and move them down so they overlap in the middle. Same thing over here. Then I'll bring these ones down as well. Stick this. So now they're right next to each other. So we're going to do a row all the way around on the six pins, the two bands. that. Top one will have four bands to flip. Middle band or middle pin will have eight bands to flip. And then the bottom one will have four. And it'll be the same on both sides. Four, eight, and four. that. And then another row all the way around again. Still the two bands.
like that. Then you'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. So what we want to do is split the middle so we can expand again. And like we've done the top portion, so now we want to do the bottom portion. So how we're going to do that, so I'm going to pick up these bands that are on the pin right here and I'm going to bring them back down a pin. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And then we're going to pick up, let's see here, on the right side, if you're banding the same way I am, I'm going to pick up the top two bands and bring them down. And this leaves them crossed right here. Normally, we when we expand, um, we separate them out so that they're not, so like the band that's on this pin will come to this pin. But this time, the band that's on this pin is going to come all the way down to here, and this one comes all the way down to here. We want that cross in, in the middle. And then on this side, we'll actually have to pick up all the bands that are on the pin, bring them down, grab the top two bands, and bring them back up. And you can see how they're crossed right there. center this a little bit. Now we're going to do a row all the way around this on the eight pins. Two bands all the way around. like that. Top one will have four. Middle two will have two. And the bottom one will have four. Same thing on the other side. Four at the top. Two in the middle. And four at the bottom. Make sure it's unstuck from the pins. So now we got to the point where we're right about here, or actually here, and we're going to split so that we can do the bottom portion of the X. And how we do that is we're going to pull bands underneath of our banding already and kind of attach it on one side of the pin, pull it under, and then attach it to the other side. And we'll do that in the middle on these two pins and then we'll have a row over here and a row over here for each leg. So this will be one leg on the four pins and this will be one leg on the other four pins. One leg of the X. So first we need to pull bands underneath of our X. So you want to take your hook and stick it underneath your loom. You work so nicely every other time. There we go. So there's not a whole lot of room with the rainbow loom hook, but if you get it through, get your two bands on, and you're going to pull it under. And before I get too far, I take the two bands, put them on this pin on one side, and pull the bands under, and wrap them around the pin on the other side. And then we have to do that on these two pins as well. So hook under. Grab them. I can't see. There we go. Grab them. Pull them under. Hook on the one side. Pull them through. Hook on the other side. So you can see that it is possible with the rainbow loom hook to do this. 
um, but I'm going to use another hook when I do it later on. So, But now we have the band pulled up underneath. It'll look like that. And then we complete the row on each side. So two bands. Around this portion. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Like that. So then you'll flip the bottom four on all the pins. When you get in the center here, it might be a little hard um, to... The ones we pulled under might be overlapping the bottom four, so you just kind of got to be careful which four you're flipping over. See, like right here, I have this all kind of goofy. You know, I had these bands in my Rainbow Loom only box for brand, but I'm pretty sure they're not those. We shall see what it turns out like. I think that's a mix, unfortunately. So like that. So we want to do that same thing again four more times. So we want five rows in total. So there's my first row. So again, like I said, I'm going to use a different hook for this. This is the rug latch hook. Um, I just, the, hat, the latch wasn't working well, so I broke it off and then I straightened it out with a hammer. Um, you can use a crochet hook as well. Just anything that's a little bit easier to manipulate underneath here. So but that's up to you. Like I did show you, the rainbow loom hook does work. It's just a little bit tighter to get it through. But we again want to pull the bands through the center for each side of the X bottom. And do our rows around each half on the sides. Like that. Flip the bottom four again. All the way around. Then keep loosening this up so it'll give you more room underneath as it grows. So that's two, three more to go. Hook under, pull the bands through. And go around the outsides. Like that. Flip the bottom four all the way around. Like that. Mark your row. Do it again. Bands up through the center. 
on both sides. And rows around. Like that. Clip the bottom four. That. So that's four. We got one more row to go. Pull your bands up through the center. Row around the outside. like three different or four different purple bands in here. That's crazy. Somebody must have spilled my purple case. So flip the bottom four. I started tutorial I just grab the bands and start filming. I don't really look at them super closely until I start actually working with them because I just assume they're what they're supposed to be. But, oh well. It's still pretty. Alright, so we have our five rows now. So we are ready to close this off. So what we're going to do is just close off each leg. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my hook, stick it through the bands on the pin, and then go around each half. So I got one half off, all on my hook, then I'll take two bands, pull them through everything. You can use one band if you want. I recommend two, in case one snaps. Get them both on your hook, and then do a loose slip knot until we get the other side off. So again, hook through everything, all the way around. two bands through, both ends on, slip knot, and this time we can take a little bit of time closing it. I usually flatten it out a little bit, kind of get the shape I want before I pull tight because then it helps to stay in that shape. Then I'll take my hook, go up through the back side somewhere, or a side because there isn't really a back side to this shape, grab that those tail bands and pull them in through and a couple other bands, it appears. Then I'll do the same thing for the other side. So I'll stick my hook back through here. Shape out the end the way I want it, and then pull tight. And then again, take my hook up through next to the knot, grab my tail bands, pull them in to hide them. And then you can take this and you can loosen up some of the bands throughout the middle, particularly, especially on the side where we pull them up underneath. It'll help split it up a little bit. It's not a super dramatic X. We don't want we don't want any drama. But if you pull pull them out, holding on to the center. Oh, 
I think so. Why are you sticking out? I like that. X. I'll just fix those bands there. I think part of it's just weird bands, but. So, X. So we have X for X's and O's. I guess that would be one thing you can definitely use it for. Or if your name's Xavier with an X, like Charles Xavier. But, um, hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. Um, it's a little, a little hard to get the hook underneath there. But if you make any of these and you'd like to share them with me, if you find some good X words to share, um, you can do that on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy. And then, of course, it would be mm, Ecstatic starts with an E, Exuberant starts with, yeah, there just isn't a whole lot, so. But it would be awesome if you'd subscribe to my channel, so then you can find out when there's new things coming out, and always, of course, give me ideas for other things that you'd like to see as well. But thank you very much for watching, and I will have more for you soon.